All right, welcome back to the BIOS 1300 Laboratories here at Ohio University. Today, we're talking about the circlemere model. So let's take a look at each component. Uh, we know circlemere is the smallest uh, subunit, the functional unit of a muscle. And within that, we've got a couple different zones. First off, if you zoom in here, you can see what's called a Z disc. So this big red area is a Z disc. And you have one on either side of the sarcomere, creating separate borders of that. Jump to the middle. In the middle is an M line. So this is the M line or the middle of the sarcomere. But in addition, or in between those things, we've got two different types of filaments. We've got a thin filament, as you can see here with red, yellow, and green, and a thick filament, this blue, thicker structure with these heads coming off of it. Now the thin filament has what's called actin, these red beads, actin, and two other proteins, troponin, this green part, troponin, and tropomyosin, the yellow string-like structure that wraps around in a spiral around the actin. Now, brushing up against that, again, is the thick filament. The thick filament has myosin heads. Each one of these different blue pieces coming off the thick filament is a myosin head. And a myosin tail is harder to see, but if you followed the head down and all the way over to the M line, that would be the tail. Now together, a myosin head plus a myosin tail is a myosin. Furthermore, just the section that is only the thin filament is called the I band, the I band. But the A band, which has the thin and the thick filaments overlapping, is called the A band. Furthermore, there's one more zone, the H zone, and that's from where the A band ends on either side to the M line. So just this middle part in here would be your H zone. Now this can change based upon whether a muscle is contracted and shortened or stretched and elongated. And that is your sarcomere model.